That is the first pizza in the pizza oven. Okay, we charred the sides a bit, but hey, Dad, we've not done it before, have we? So yeah, but that's we, your side. For, <laughs> we knew that we would burn something, as we tend to do here on Tea Outdoors when we cook. But the rest of it, look, crispy. Anyway, look, Dad, it's, look at that fire roaring. Yeah, that is absolutely, you can't put your hand at the top just there by it's, the entrance. It's so hot out here, Yeah, it's ridiculous. So possibly a roast or something would be really good to do next. But that cooked, how, what would you say, Dad, two minutes? It says Three, say, you're meant to cook in, well. these take about 10 minutes in your conventional oven at home. We didn't hand make this one, guys. Full confession, Shut. this is a store-bought one. Yep. But that's because we didn't want to waste time hand making it and then burning it. At least if we burnt the store-bought one, it was uh, not too much wasted effort. However, they say about 10 minutes, I think it's 150 or 200 degrees, 10 minutes. That was three, if that. About three minutes, yeah. Three minutes, hot. that's hot. how fast it cooks in there. Awesome, look at that. And the that's paddle, the shot, yeah. paddle fits perfectly in there to get the pizza off. Right. Select your piece, Dad. I know you're going for the least burnt, undercooked piece. Uh, that piece looks nice. <laughs> I'll go for the one next to it. I think that looks pretty good to me. That's cooked. It probably is, yeah. You, you know, if you had... It's actually nicer. Chips and a salad with it. It's nicer than your conventional oven because you've got the smoky taste. Okay. What's it like? Go on. Lovely. It's a pity, really, we can't pick that pizza oven up, all two tons of it, and take it home, because it's the sort of thing you like in your house, isn't it, really? You know, if you're a bit yeah. of a garden, that'd be really cool in your house. We had a rough idea of what we were building, but, you know, we didn't know the... We were not experts on pizza ovens, so... Not experts quite... on bricklaying, either. No. But it's hold up, But it's it? come out really good, and actually, I thought it would crack a lot more. It's got slight cracks in the mortar, but... Yeah, yeah. I thought that would fall apart on the first burn at 300... Thanks, thank you. We got it up to 300 degrees today. That's in an hour. Yep. So, um, and that's pretty much, we slowly built that fire. We probably could have got it up faster, but we were worried about cracking the bricks. But that is, all. and now the outside of the bricks are so warm, aren't they? You can they see are, how are, it's yeah, a brick yeah, oven, yeah. how it just keeps that heat for hours afterwards. So now we're thinking, what else could we cook in there? You know, guys, could let us, let us know in what comments? Yeah, drop what some comments. What do you think we could cook in a pizza oven? Obviously, it's other than a, pizza. It's a, it's a brick oven, really, isn't it? Whatever we could cook in there, let us know. But I guess the thing is, Having cooked this pizza for the first time, did we need to let the flames burn down a bit? And that's why it's char grilled a bit up here. <laughs> Test number two, folks, is barbecue chicken, onion, bit of pepper. There might even be a bit chilly on this one, but here's the change. I've raked out the fire, so there's less flames, a lot more coal, and we're gonna try this one, although we know it cooks straight on the fire brick, we're gonna try it raised up off the grill, on a little grill here, and just see if that will affect the base. There we go. I reckon five minutes, Dad, that's ready. It says 15, but I reckon five. This brick now, I can't, I can't hold my hand there. It's so hot, the brick. We've got one crack there, which I knew would happen down the, the middle by the chimney bit. And I think it would stay warm for hours afterwards. Either way, I don't think of what the temperature is right now in there. But it's blimmin' hot. That is on the grill. We're getting there. We just need to import an, an Italian <laughs> to tell be... us how to cook pizza. <laughs> we're going to be uh, slightly fat. Why do you do it to my pizza? <laughs> we're going to be slightly, You're it. slightly fat after uh, the amount of testing we're doing today. There we go, though. Let's see how it cuts. With this paw raised, like he's been beaten. Oh, he's, he's, he's begging one. He's begging a pizza, look. Okay, that one cut a lot better. Yeah. Oh, dear. We won't want dinner tonight, will we, Dad? No. <laughs> That's the old, there's a plate. Oh, it's, only a, it's only a two inch thick piece of ash Slab for a bash. plate. Right, so I'll go for, a, let's check the base. That's all right, yeah. Yeah, that, that's see right, that? Yeah. I know it's crispy on the outside, but that's a nice bit of cooked base on that one. It smells nice. It smells like cooked pizza. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That took about 10 minutes. It took mm. slightly longer because I think we left the fire to burn out, didn't we? But it cooked much more even. It did, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I don't really think that's because of the grill. I think that's because we didn't have so much flame in there. We just whipped down the ashes 
to coals mm. right and then the heat embers. was more regulated i think maybe we try like a roasting tray next time or a dutch oven something like that a roast and then we'd have to crank it up to temperature a lot more like a 300 degrees get it up high so that it couldn't afford to come down or well, you could do steak in there yeah. and, and boil your vegetables in the Dutch oven here on, the, on this fire. That has taken us months to finish, mainly because we've done other things in between. Mm. But it's really nice to have actually finished the first meal and used it. Pleased with the roof, we've still got to do the ridge cap bit on the roof. Um, lately we've just been throwing the tarp over it just to keep, just because there's a gap in the ridge cap. So we need to do that. And then it's done, isn't it really? That's yeah. it. We don't need to do anything else to it. Well, we've just added uh, a small bit up here, a bit of fascia and the ridge. We've not secured the ridge just yet, but we're also gonna, you can see these battens here. So we're just gonna put a kind of sideboard just up here so that it all matches in. But we're quite impressed. We were saying it looks like a sort of, um, what do you call them? Pagodas. Pagoda. A pagoda. A yeah, pagoda, a pagoda. Yeah. So it looks a bit like that, uh, kind of almost Japanese inspired with the like curved roof and everything. But anyway, we're really pleased with it. It works, it cooks a pizza done. It does, yeah. Absolutely. That's what we wanted to. That was the main goal out of the whole time we were doing it. Will it, Still warm. Will it cook a pizza? Yeah, it's hot, isn't it? And there's nothing in there. The ash has been put down on the fire so it burns out safely. Yeah, so um, yeah, let us know in the description below, guys, what you think would be a good meal to cook yeah. up here in the woods. We've got some ideas in our mind, but it'd be good to, to learn from you guys as well. So thanks so much for watching. We do appreciate it. There's been a lot of fungi around, hasn't there? Yeah, yeah, there's well. loads of you, you around with the camera looking at them. You've got to tell them, do you know all the different types? Yeah, we've got, I've, I've, I'll overlay some shots now, but basically where the big ash tree has come down mm. a couple of years ago, um, that root system is obviously now up in the air and it's still dying back. But the amount of fungi on there is yeah. incredible. And so many different species and we've just had a load of rainfall, so it's nice and damp. Yeah. Um, and it's just really nice to come back almost each day or every couple of days and seeing them develop and how the, the mushroom is, or the fungi has changed shape. And it, some of them come out nothing like you would imagine they would look. And they just change every day, but it's really impressive. Thank you for watching. Do appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, head on over to Dad's channel, TA Fishing. Link in the description below. And um, we'll catch you guys in the next one where we don't know what we'll be cooking, but it'll be something tasty. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.